alone. As we've heard, we're here today to find out what the problem is with the healthcare.gov website and how we can fix these multiple technical problems. Last month, as the chairman noted, we heard from CGI, QSSI, Serco, and Equifax, the same four contractors who are here today. They told us that the website would work. We even asked them point blank. Mr. Pallone asked them, and I asked them. They told us that HHS was doing an excellent job of testing the product. They said there was nothing wrong, and they expressed nothing but optimism. And so three weeks later, here we are. Uh, we're still hearing reports of significant problems. Now, I appreciate all of the contractors coming today. I give them the benefit of the doubt when they say things are improving. But I want to stress, for the Affordable Care Act to work, these problems need to be fixed. And these problems need to be fixed fast. We need to hear today exactly what they're doing to fix these issues. And we're, we need to hear, we need to see clear examples of improvement and be provided with a timeline for how it will be fully optional. Mr. Chairman, this is not our first experience with introductions of new health care programs, as Mr. Pallone said. I was on this committee in 2006 when Medicare Part D was implemented during the Bush administration. Let's not forget what a mess it was and the significant problems seniors had with registering for the new benefit. But I also want to remind my colleagues on both sides of the aisle that the difficulties passed and were soon forgotten amid the success of Part D. And so I really take the, the gestures on the other side of the aisle seriously. And I hope that we can say that we've worked together to, to ensure the success of healthcare.gov. Now, there's something else I remember from the introduction of the Part D benefit, Mr. Chairman. Every single one of us, whether or not we voted yay or nay for the law, worked together for our success. I found the newsletter that I sent out to my constituents after Medicare Part D, in which I said, I oppose the law that created this program, but people need to be armed with the information requested. And I would urge everybody on both sides of the aisle to do that. So my hope, Mr. Chairman, is that today marks the beginning of an effort on the majority's part to make sure that the health care uh, law works and is successful and Americans can enjoy the benefits. Um, I really think that it's important to make that happen. And I'm so happy, I'm so happy and touched really today to hear the majority express these concerns about making the ACA work better. And I really hope that they're legitimate in it because this is what's going to give insurance to millions of Americans who have gone without health care for many, many years because they couldn't afford the programs. And with that, I yield to the Chairman Emeritus of the full committee, Mr. Dingell. I thank the gentlewoman for yielding to me. This is a wonderful opportunity for us to make the Affordable Care Act work. I remind